Hello, my name is Alex McLean. I'm the water manager at Heritage Lawns and Irrigation. And today I'm going to be filling you in with a guide of how to program your smart irrigation controller, specifically the controller we use is the Hunter Hydrowise controller. It's been kind of a hot, dry, rough year, so a lot of seeding is going to need to be done this fall to get lawns repaired and back in good shape. So today I'm going to be using my laptop um, just to make things easier to record but you can also use an app on your smartphone or tablet. The functionality for the most part is the same. It's going to look a little different on a screen on your cell phone or tablet, but the steps are basically the same. Um, so you should be able to follow along as we go and hopefully get you in the right path to set up everything for the fall seating. All right, on the Hydrowise software or the Hydrowise app, you've got a home screen, it's called your dashboard. And I'm looking through right now, looking at the different zones on the dashboard. I've got the sprays north of driveway, rotors front yard, and MP rotators backyard. And then we have a drip tubing front bed. So the sprays north of driveway, rotors front yard, and MP rotators will be the areas we're going to seed this fall. So we need to make changes to those zones only. The drip tubing in the front bed can stay the same. We won't need to change anything on that. So this screen on your zones and schedules you know, goes through what each zone is going to be doing. Right now we've got the lawn zones running Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 3 a.m. and the front landscape zone running at 6 a.m. Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So the first thing we want to do is add a new start time. And the best way to get a good successful seeding going is to water at 8, noon, and 4 p.m. So first we want to start at 8 a.m. every day of the week. And up here, since we don't want that bed zone to run, we need to go to selected zones and select the sprays north of driveway, rotors front yard, and the MP rotators backyard. And we go down and hit OK. And that will save that start time. And then we need to go to add watering time again. And basically we're going to follow the same steps as the 8 a.m. start time, but we're going to change this one to 12 p.m. And again, we want every day of the week selected. We don't want the seed drying out at all, otherwise it can cause problems with germination. Then again, we do not want the landscape zone to run every day, so we select everything but that. Sprays north of the driveway, sprays rotors front yard, and MP rotators backyard. Hit OK again, and it'll save that. So we need to add one more watering time to make sure things don't dry out in the afternoon. This time we're going to set that for 4 p.m. Every day of the week again. and the turf areas that are covered with these zones. Okay, now that we've got our new watering time set up for the new seed, we want to disable the current programming. The time that was set up for 3 a.m. on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If we go down to our little edit button, we can just remove the days of the week from that program, basically. So then it will just run as scheduled at 8 a.m., 12 noon, and 4 p.m. for the new seed. Now if we scroll back up to our zones and go to the edit button, we're going to have to make some changes on how long it's going to water. Because if we leave the, sa the times the same and run it three times a day, it's going to be watering too much, which re will result in flooding your seed out and won't do it any good. So. In this case, these are the sprays north of driveway. The little spray heads put down water very rapidly, so we usually I'll need to run those for about three to five minutes. In this case, I'm going to set this one up for three minutes. And there's some watering triggers on here that we want to remove as well, because we want to make sure this doesn't dry out, so we're kind of going to ignore the rainfall that may have happened in the last four days, because even after a rain, the surface of the soil can dry out pretty quickly and we can't have that drying out with the new seed laying in that seed bed. We also want to remove 
that any chance of rain not running is even if there is a hundred percent chance of rain tomorrow we still need to keep it moist today so we want it to run so we need to remove those watering triggers then we'll basically go through each of the lawn zones it's going to water the new seed and make sure the timing and then the watering triggers are set up so we make sure it gets the right amount of water every day so this one's the rotor's front yard normal run time is 30 minutes since we're watering three times a day we're going to drop that down to 10 and again we're going to take the last four days rainfall out of the picture and the 70 percent chance of rain out of the picture So in this zone, we've got MP Rotator's Backyard. If you don't know what an MP Rotator is, they're the ones that have the multiple streams that rotate instead of just the single stream like the regular rotors. So in this case, on those, we want to run 15 minutes per cycle for that three times a day. And then again, remove the watering triggers that would normally prevent it from running if we get any rain. So we want zero chance of that seed drying out. So as a general rule, Sprays need to run three to five minutes, rotors about 10 minutes, MP rotators about 15. Um, if it's too wet or too dry, you can adjust those times a little bit. It usually takes about two days before the top couple inches, inches of soil get saturated enough to where you can really tell how it's going to look for the next couple of weeks as you're watering your new seed. And here the trigger that says don't water in the last 24 hours rainfall is higher than, went ahead and bump that up to half an inch. Anything less than that, we want to go ahead and make sure the system does run on those newly seeded areas. And right here you just kind of double check the overall settings of each zone just to make sure everything looks like you think it should. Okay, so that was a quick kind of guide to how to program your hunter hydrolyze controller for your new seed so that needs to stay in place for the three times a day every day for about three weeks you'll notice these little seedlings getting pretty thick and then it'll be time to start weaning the water off of that or weaning off the water so after about the three week mark you can drop that down to about once or twice a day depending on how things are looking and then slowly start dropping back to four times a week three days a week and depending on what temperature is doing maybe even less than that. So hopefully that is helpful and kind of guided you through the process. If you need any help, you can always give us a call, 913-451-4664. And there's a couple options we can do with program the controller or just don't want to mess with it. We do have a smart sprinkler management program here at Heritage where basically I can just run the system remotely, make regular changes based on weather throughout the year depending on what it's doing um, just kind of watch over everything make sure there's no electrical issues with the system we do have an optional flow meter upgrade that actually tracks your water usage and it actually can monitor for leaks broken heads things like that that may pop up throughout the season as the system runs because uh, things do break down so that is definitely available it is 20 bucks a month basically for the eight months of the year that the system is operating usually kind of goes between March through October or if you're having issues at the controller itself and maybe something's not working right we can come out and make sure everything's set up correctly at the house and it probably wouldn't hurt to just kind of take a look at everything and make sure all the heads are popping up and shooting water um, but other than that if you have any questions or concerns trouble with anything just let us know again 913-451-4664